as it turns out, Command R is pretty much your go-to shortcut to be able to reveal a file in the finder. I'm going to show you several different places that this is apparent at. The first place I notice is that it is actually in the finder itself. If you have an alias like this one here, instead of right clicking on it and saying show original, you can simply hit command R. This will show the original, and even though we have this long path right here, it takes us right to it with command R. So command R is the reveal for finder with aliases. Another example would be inside the open dialog box of pretty much any application. To do this, we're in text edit, we'll hit command O, and now it asks us to open up a file. We'll just, uh, we'll go to applications, we'll select that, we'll put, actually we'll select chess. You hit command R, and it reveals it inside the finder. However, unfortunately this does not work inside the save dialog box. We can select something, we'll say the Apple Script folder, but if we hit Command R, it opens up Finder, however it doesn't reveal it. So it's kind of does doesn't work there. Another great place for revealing in Finder is in iTunes. Instead of right-clicking on a file and saying cho choosing the show in Finder option, we can just hit Command R and it opens it right up in our iTunes folder. The fourth and final place that Reveal and Finder appears is in Photo Booth. Simply select an image, hit Command R, and the image is revealed in Finder. As you can see, the image's default location is in Pictures, Photo Booth, and so that folder right there. Well, now you know of every single way that there is to reveal items in Finder in the Mac operating system. Now, these are the only ones I know of, so if you know of any that I didn't mention here, please leave a comment informing me of where they are. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing.